You know, in 2008, the world had changed, recession has hit. Um, how did that affect the business? And was that around the time you were trying to raise capital, uh, you know, everything you had going on, lines of credit, everything you owned going through the divorce? Was it around that time? So I was divorced in 2005 um, and so was already divorced. Um, in 2008, I can't even explain to you. So we were just a wholesale company. So I was just selling to other retailers. I was not direct to consumer. Um, after the hat box and that failure of running a retail store, I said, I am never going to be in retail again. I am never going to do that. That is scary stuff. I don't want to have any part of it. Get me out of retail. So this is safer. I, they, you know, a store writes an order, boo, boo, boo. I pack it up. I mail it to them. They deal with it. You know, it's great. Beautiful business. 2008 hit. And all of my eggs were in that one basket, Nathan. I had the power that I didn't have was in the power of the buyers that were writing the orders for the department stores who are now getting laid off with the recession, relationships that I had built just you know, going away overnight, boutiques and stores that I had worked with across the country shuttering left and right, uh, big companies filing for bankruptcy uh, that I had just shipped orders to. Um, you know, it was devastating time. And I only had a line of credit. I had no investors. Uh, and to try to even think about getting an investor to invest in you at this period, I mean, that was not even, there was, an, there was no conversation starters there with, hey, what do you think about investing? I know we're going through, you know, an economic collapse financially, but, you know, maybe they're like, absolutely not. Then my bank, big bank, calls and says, you know, we feel that jewelry, fashion, these are high risk areas for us. And we'd like you to pay off your line of credit within the next six months. Wow. Yeah. And I said, well, I don't, I, I can't, I can't pay off the line of credit and I've paid my interest. I've done all the things I'm supposed to do. I've never been laid on a payment. Uh, and I'd call and try to talk somebody and they'd be like, uh, what's your loan number? And I'd be like, A7, blah, blah, blah. You know, all these, numbers. they didn't care that I was Kendra Stott. They didn't care that I was a person, you know, they just were like, what's your loan number? And you'd get shifted around. And I remember sitting on my kitchen floor and just crying and thinking, this is it. I'm going to lose my business like so many of the businesses around me. And I thought, okay, what am I going to do? And I started to go to some local Texas banks. And I went to one local Texas bank and there, the president was female and she wears my jewelry. She knows my brand well. You know, I'm very well known in Austin. And I sat across from her and I remember saying, Carrie, you know, can you please consider taking on this line of credit? And I promise you with everything I have, if I have to sell everything I own, I will not only just pay it back, but I'm going to crush it. And here's my new business plan and how we're going to get out of this. We are not going to just focus on wholesale anymore because I need to have a direct connection with my consumer. I need her to say, I want Kendra Scott when she walks into every department store. Where is the Kendra Scott? And the only way I can do that is if I have a direct connection, meaning I need to get back into retail. I need to get back in, and have an e-commerce website. And I need to start to communicate with her directly, not through middlemen anymore. And you're thinking, you know, all these stores are shuttering. Here I'm going in. And I'm opening a store, um, you know, I'm doing kind of the crazy thing, but it actually, that was when the magic happened. And if it wasn't for that recession, if it, which I say was the greatest gift wrapped in a yellow bow that Kendra Scott could have ever gotten as a company, we would not be sitting here talking today because that shift that shake the snow globe moment forced me and my team to have to think differently on how we are going to run the business. Wholesale is now 18% of my overall business. Direct to consumer through our retail stores and online is, makes up the rest. So it was a complete business shift, um, but the one that gave us lightning in a bottle growth. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.